here. Okay, so it is trending everywhere today. The shocking news of celebrity stylist Law Roach's what he's calling a retirement. So this is the man. I know, this is him. But uh, he is the man who created iconic red carpet looks. He has transformed celebrities like Zendaya, Celine Dion, Anya Taylor-Joy, and so many more. Don't forget, Kerry Washington. I mean, his list is long. He's turned them into fashion mavens. So Law said in his Instagram post, quote, my cup is empty and the politics, the lies, and false narratives finally got me. So this is, you know, might not be necessarily a house Household name, but you know his work on the celebrities he's worked with on the red carpet. So there's a lot of insider stuff to this, but how does this bubble up to the surface to us? Well, it's interesting because I am li listening to our audience's reaction, and some of you clearly know La Roach, and that is new, right? It's, you're saying, of course, and that is new. I think 10, 15 years ago, if we listed a celebrity stylist out, I don't yeah. know that it would be a household name. And the reason why is, as you said, because of La Roach's work. And he doesn't define himself as a celebrity stylist, by the way. He calls himself an image architect, which Ooh. is an expression that he has trademarked. He owns this he expression. Tra he mm -hmm. trademarked, exactly, image architect. <laughs> because what he does is more than styling, he Sonic. builds a career image through clothes, which is exactly what he did with Zendaya. When they started working together, she couldn't get designers to give her clothes. So they worked with his clothing archive. They used street level, like street style clothes to build her public image in order to get more jobs for her, more yep. acting jobs, more singing jobs, more presenting jobs. So through clothes, she built her career into what she is today, which is, she is fashion. Yep. That's image architecture. Now, that was his first collaboration. Around 2016, he started working with Celine Dion after the death of her husband. It culminated in this look from Billboard at the 2017 awards. And this was the look that catapulted her into a new era of her career, which is Fashion Maven. Mm, then she yes. started going to Paris Fashion Week. Mm, she was front row, they were doing fashion shows, and then all other clients followed. So when you ask about the impact on the fashion industry, he changed what people understand the job of stylist to be, yes. and made people understand that clothes are more than just, hey, let's take a few pictures. It's part of the work of being a celebrity. What they wear is part of their J-O-B. It gets them jobs, it gets them better pay, it gets them sponsorships, and it is very, that's why people like Blake Lively are no longer getting mad when someone says, who are you wearing on the red carpet? Remember there was a time when they were like, don't ask me about my clothes, I am more than the clothes. No, you're not, the clothes are your job. <laughs> We had a big time celebrity that was on the show once and I can't name her, but we were talking fashion backstage before she came out and the discussion came to, oh, like, who are you wearing? Who styled you? Uh, La Roche's name came up and she said, oh my gosh, I would love to work with him. I only could afford him for one event to style me. Good for she him. She is so out of, I wish I him. could tell you it was. She's a, she's big time and she's like, I can't afford him. And the other part is he might not even take you <laughs> as yeah. a client. He so, interviews his clients. He yes. Said he interviews them because he needs to know what you want to do with your career. Not what you want to look like at a wow. party, but how you want the clothes to take you forward in your career. I Con Nick, as you asked the question, how is it going to impact Hollywood? Let's talk about how it's going to impact me. <laughs> I, I could finally outshine Zendaya. <laughs> where I could be on top. Because everything she puts on her body, everything, she looks so good. Yep. And now she's going to fall. Oh <laughs> no! Maybe for a day, I don't know. But wow, iconic. He's an architect? Yeah. Like, think yeah. about that. Yes. I like, just, but don't you, like, here's the thing, that post, if you read the whole thing, he's basically saying, and I can't help but wonder about what happened right beforehand? Because he's basically saying, like, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I've had it. Mm. I can't deal with this. If it was just about the clothes, I would do it forever. But it's not. It's about politics. It's about personalities. Maybe I'm putting in words. You but he's, he's, there's something, in my opinion, happened. Or there was, and think about it. This happens, he drops this right after the Oscars. I can't help but think something was brewing. And there's, this is very loaded. And I wonder, like, if you have thoughts around, like, what will 
He, there's no way this guy's He's done. not retiring. And He's I'll be retiring. honest, La Roche, he's also on a show that's on Crave called Legendary. And I've been watching every season and I'm obsessed with him. He's one of the judges. And sometimes Law is a little extra. So sometimes when he's, if he's throwing a fit right now, I'm not saying it's not without merit. He's been earning his way in this business for a long time. I'm not saying it's without merit, but sometimes I think he might have a big explosion and then I think he might calm down and then we'll hear from him again. I don't Iconic. think he's done. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's done. I think he's disrupted certain processes in industries, in the fashion industry that the status quo may not enjoy. So for example, the word on the street is that Zendaya has now signed with Louis Vuitton. And Was that the whole seat thing? Yes. Yeah. That's where so, the piece started. And, and yeah. Listen, there's a video going around of two weeks ago, Zendaya showing up and Law Roach showing up at the Louis, Louis Vuitton fashion show. And apparently Law didn't have a seat. Mm. And so people are wondering, hey, did she sign this deal with LV? And now they're pushing him out. He actually did have a seat. They arrived 45 minutes late, so they had to find a seat for him elsewhere. It was still front row. But I think what we're hitting on here is when he works with his client and a brand, he doesn't just go in and put the clothes on her. He helps them and has designed the whole campaign. He did that with Zendaya and Valentino. But these in-house brands have their own in-house people. And now you have a La Roche walking into an established major fashion house saying, it's, it's gonna be better this way. And their jobs traditionally in the fashion industry, they know best. But who is this man with no background, right? And he's black. And he is not, he didn't Conventional. come up. Exactly, he didn't come up through the school of fashion educated by this person in Paris and this seamstress and mm. this Anna Wintour and whatever. So I wonder if there's a whole army of old schoolers who were like, who is this La Roach coming in and doing our jobs better than we have done it? Iconic. And that is iconic. <laughs> that is an old, old, old school uh, French couture house, mm -hmm. you know, there was a thing called racism and, and, and I'm not gonna, he didn't claim that, but no. you can't, uh, you can't imagine that that's not out of the realm of possibility here. There's a lot that's coming against people, you. People get in their feelings when, feelings, well, they get in their money. Feelings, <laughs> money, ego, all of that, yeah. when people who traditionally were not listened to disrupt the that's industry right. and show you how to do it better. And yeah, that industry in right. particular, I, I mean, I worked, my, my first job in television was on a show called Fashion Television. Some people might remember I remember that, it. You know? And I will say, for years, having to go on, shoots, like for an industry that is yeah. all about beauty, there is so much ugliness. So I hope it's looking at itself today a little bit. You know, bit. I'll yeah. give you an example. Like, I just thought of this now. So one of the other people that La Roche image architected is Anya Taylor-Joy, right? Queen's Gambit. He made her into a fashion queen. Ooh. So he works with her and she signs a deal with Dior. And as soon as she signs a deal with Dior to become one of their ambassadors, she and La stop working together. I see and a lot of here. people were like, hmm, right? And Zendaya very rarely wears Dior, like almost never. And now with this thing with Louis Vuitton and there's a quitting situation or retirement, I wonder if there's a pattern with these old school Parisian fashion houses and you know, yeah. this guy who comes along and tells them you know, that he's better and he's the best, iconic. Yeah. iconic. I have a, my, my money is on law. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.